All right. The next area of opportunity is starting your own business. And a lot of people have fear around that. They think about, you know, I'm, I'm you know, maybe I'm too old for that. Um, there's a lot, you know, that I don't know about starting a business. And I would just suggest that there are so many opportunities that have yet to be uncovered. So think about the pet rock. If you're on 40 plus, you probably at least heard of the pet rock. How many of you have never heard of the pet rock? Okay, great. And, and that's, you know, I love the pet rock because if you can market a rock and sell it for 20 bucks, then you can find a business. <laughs> you can do anything. Um, but this, these guys made millions of dollars basically marketing a rock. It had instructions. It had all kinds of stuff that went along to it with it. But everybody has an idea for a business. And so I started my company. So I, there are two companies. One was marvelgoldsmith.com. And that was the image and branding business that I operated for 16 years. And I just recently um, stopped. I stopped marketing the business a few years back. But I finally closed the business in Maryland. Um, but it was an in the meantime activity. And so the whole idea was that I had taken a buyout from my former company in 2001, moved to DC without a job. And I said, okay, I'm gonna give myself a year and to find something that I really want to do. So in the meantime, I decided I would become an image consultant. So I basically made up some cards, um, and started marketing myself. You know, I'd taken classes in image consulting and I had um, done a little workshop for a similar kind of organization, which was right management company. Uh, when I took a buyout, my company sent me to right management to help me to reorient myself. And so we had, I took an a, a entrepreneurial class. You had to present something. So I presented on image consulting. They really liked it. And they said, well, would you come back and present for others who are going through career transition? So I was like, sure. So when I went to DC, moved to DC without a job, I asked them for a reference because I thought, well, at least I could get an opportunity to do some workshops and present myself, present myself as an image consultant. So I, I started working for them. And I think I made like Every time I went out, $25 or something like that. I mean, it wasn't I'm putting food in the table, but it put gas in the tank. Um, but the whole idea is that Marva Goldsmith and Associates was developed as an in the meantime activity, something to put on my resume while I was looking for a job. And after I got my first contract, and this is, this is the beauty of like networking, my first contract came from a friend who was on a board and he said, well, what are you doing now? I said, well, I started this image consulting business. So he's like, well, I, I'm on this board. Do you think you could do some workshops for them? I'm like, sure. So he gave me a first contract. It was $10,000. And man, I was like, ooh, <laughs> I can live off of this for several months. And after that, I really started marketing my business in earnest. And within six months, I decided to stop looking for a job. So you want to think about, is there an even if it's an in the meantime kind of activity, something that you can do to create yourself as a consultancy. Because now this whole change that I think COVID has presented is a bunch of consultancies. People are not going to hire people the way they used to, but they will hire consultants. Why do they hire consultants? They don't have to pay benefits. And if you create yourself as a consultancy, as a small business, and look for work while you're still looking for a job, you might find that this is something that suits your personality more than perhaps finding a job. So keep that in mind as well as an option. Um, one of my favorite you know, um, stories of 2020, was DoorDash going public. 
and DoorDash was created by these three guys. And I think they were in college when they created DoorDash. Um, and so here you have the extremes. You have college guys creating a billion dollar company, DoorDash, by delivering food, find a need and fill it, right? And then you have Colonel Sanders who started his business in his late 50s or early 60s and then franchised his business in his 70s. And that's when he became a millionaire. And so it was never too late to start a business, to think about entrepreneurship as an in the meantime activity that might lend itself towards full-time employment. So employ yourself, right? 